Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations. Welcome back to the shop. I would like to start this video with a couple of shout outs. It's only going to take a second. Stick with me. First one goes out to my son Joseph who just recently graduated summa cum laude at Texas State and it was an amazing moment to watch him walk across that stage and get his degree and he was immediately snatched up by Dell Corporation right here in Texas. So Joe, I'm very proud of your son. Way to go bud. Outstanding accomplishment. Uh, Second one goes out to my youngest daughter, Victoria, who was recently approved for the rank of Captain U.S. Air Force. Ready to go, baby. Uh, third one goes out to Jason Rucker up there in Oregon. Your buddy Travis asked me to say hello to you and wish you all the best of luck with the new machine shop that you're setting up. All right. One other piece of business here. There is now a beer called Resilience. And I am not being compensated for this. There is uh, a brewing company right here, I believe they're in Austin, Sierra Nevada, and they are donating 100% of the profits from the sale of this beer to the campfire recovery effort out there in California. So there's a lot of people that lost everything and they really could use your help. So if you are thirsty for a beer and you want to try something different, try this one and know that the profits are going to a worthy cause. So thank you for that. All right, rotary table. Once upon a time, a long time ago, I bought myself a camera. It was a Canon AE-1 uh, SLR. And it came with an instruction manual that was so thick and so technical that I needed an instruction manual for the instruction manual. It was one of those, okay, why am I even reading this moments? They made way too many assumptions about the end user. I do not want that to happen to you guys as you watch any of my presentations on this rotary table or anything else, so I, I encourage feedback and questions. Okay, tangent. A true tangent is a line turns into an arc seamlessly. And let me show you one of the things that a tangent will always do. This line is tangent to that circle. If you were to take the point of contact, the point of tangency, and strike it right straight through to the center of the arc, whether it's a complete arc, partial arc, whatever, it will always be 90 degrees. Always. Forever. When you start chopping up your drawings, trying to figure out where points of rotations are, where tool paths start and finish, where whatever, when you're trying to dig up information on a construction, this is a really good thing to know. The tangent is always at a right angle to the center of the part. Excuse me, right angle to the center of the arc. Really help. Keep that in mind. When you have two arcs that are tangent, same radius, different radius, it doesn't matter. Let's start off with a small radius. Let's go into a bigger radius. All right, small radius, big radius. Center of the small radius, center of the big radius. What do you know about that? Well, what do you know? When you connect these two lines, there's your point of tangency right there. Always and forever. Intersecting arcs will always form a three-point straight line at the point of tangency. That will help you when you start with the geometry on some of the rotary table work that you're going to do. Very helpful. Got it? Now, as luck would have it, I recently received an email from a viewer asking me about decimals of an angle. And if I've ever seen anybody make a mistake that's almost a given, is when you look at an angle. Let me see if I can find my example here somewhere. It just walked away. <laughs> yes, it did. Look, nope, here we go. Okay. 14.747 degrees. You got to know that the point 747 
That is not minutes. You don't go to the trig tables or to your machinery handbook or whatever and look up 0.74 minutes. Wouldn't happen. Well, 0.74, if there was a decimal, it would be three quarters, right? 0.75? Let's, let's stick with that for a second. Three quarters. Three quarters of 60 minutes would be what? 0, 30, 15, 45. Right there. 45 minutes. Just a good rule of thought. 14.74 seconds. How do we confirm that that is what we think it is? Well, you take the 0.747 and you multiply that times 60. And that results in an answer of 44.82. Okay, well, you're almost there. So we have 14 degrees. Forty-four minutes, and we got to go one more time. Point eight two times sixty equals forty-nine point two. Now this one, you can just throw this one right out the window. You don't need that anymore because we're down to the seconds. So 14.747 degrees equals 14 degrees, 44 minutes, 49 seconds. And that is almost 14.45. Simple. Not really that simple, but... Once you see it done, you can do it. Okay? 0 0.747 times the 60, take the first whole number, that's your minutes. 0 0.82 times 60, take the first whole number, that's your seconds. That's how it breaks out. Let's take a look at this piece behind me and see if we can extract enough information based on what I just told you to find the center point of this particular arc. We're given the height, we're given the width, and we are giving the, origi the origin point of the angle. I guess we're going to get the angle too. Let's say that is 35 degrees. What you're looking for is you're looking for the center of that arc so that you know when you set this piece up in your mill that you put this piece directly over the center of the rotation of the rotary table. So it's really important to know where that center is. How hard is it to extract that? Well, if you remember what I just told you in regards to the tangent always being at a right angle to the center of the arc, that's a great place to start. So let's take the tangent point, assumed tangent points, because there's no hard points to look at, just assume it's there, because it is, and strike your lines. The right angle. This is one of the critical dimensions we're looking for, right here. Same thing here. Right angle. That is what you're looking for, right there. Now, how hard is it to find that? Not really. We have the 1 inch 125 radius, which is here and here. The 35 degree angle, which, believe it or not, is also the projected horizontal. And I'll show you how to come again, how to get that. And then you have, let's go straight across, all the way out. Now, if we can find these two triangles right here, this one and this one, 
this one and this one. It'll give you the offset here. If this is 35 degrees, this is also 35 degrees. How do we know that? This angle is right here. And by construction, this would be the complement of that, 55 degrees. Opposing angles are the same, intersecting lines. 55 degrees here, 35 degrees here. So now you have basically all the information that you need. 2 inch 500 vertical. You have the radius value of 1 inch 125. So you know this right here as a result. This is 1 inch 125 here. Horizontal construction, 800, minus that one right there. This turns out to be 1 inch 375 here. You subtract the 800 from the 1 inch 375, you get 575 here. And now you have everything that you need. You have the two triangles, this one and this one, to figure out. And they would be. Five seventy five on the bottom, thirty five degrees. I'm not going to actually do the math for you, I'm just going to show you the construction. And this one right here. Uh, let's put it somewhere else. We'll put it down here because it's a little bit bigger. Thirty five degree tip. Base leg is the radius value, because it's right there. It's the chord of the circle. It's not the chord, it's the radius of the circle. So that's the base, 1.125. So when you add this one right here, and you add this one right here, you've got your distance from here to here. It's all there, guys, starting with the Right angles for the tangents, finding the center, knowing the radiuses, work everything out. Draw as many lines as you have to. Run a bunch of copies on your print if you have to. And like I say, if uh, it's not on the drawing, go ask the guy that made the drawing to put it on the drawing. And if you're the guy that made the drawing, talk to the guy making the part. It'll go a long way.